In this tutorial, we'll go through the second part of the installation process where we'll configure our external programming environment. And for this particular implementation, we'll stay consistent with the Python client that's provided to you inside the DWX Xerum Q Connector project, and that is written in Python. So we'll configure a Python environment. However, this is completely not necessary or mandatory. You can, of course, configure your own environment that is not in Python, should you be using any other additional programming language, as long as that programming language has a supported ZeroMQ binding, as we discussed in previous tutorials. We can either use Anaconda, which is the recommended option. One of the benefits of uh, downloading Anaconda and installing the default is that it comes pre-installed with PyZMQ, which is a dependency of this project. If, however, you wish not to use Anaconda, then you can, of course, download PyZMQ via pip install PyZMQ. For users using Anaconda, you'll need to proceed to anaconda.com forward slash distribution forward slash hash download hyphen section and here download the Python 3 version of the latest Anaconda installer, depending on your system architecture, 64 or 32 bit. Once you've downloaded and installed that, you'll need to go ahead and create yourself an environment inside um, Anaconda. And this can be done in two ways. You can either do it via the command line or via the Anaconda navigator. For this particular example, we'll do this via the command line. And here we'll type in the following. We'll say conda create dash dash name, and we'll give our environment a name. We'll call this dwx underscore zero q underscore connector. This will create us a base environment that contains Python, conda, and related modules that are required for proper function of those particulars. We'll now install pyzmq inside this environment for our installation to be complete in terms of dependencies. And for, to do that, we first need to change to or activate our newly created environment. And we'll do this by calling conda activate dwx underscore zero q underscore connector. Once inside here, you'll see that your prefix to the shell prompt has changed from base to dwx underscore zero q underscore connector. And now we simply need to install um, pyzmq via the conda repository, and this can be accessed via the install-c anaconda pyzmq command. So we'll say conda install-c anaconda pyzmq. Make sure that that command's been inserted correctly. Hit enter. This will list all the dependencies of the pyzmq project and anything else that has been installed alongside it, any upgrades or downgrades that are necessary. Hit Y if you agree and uh, wait for the dependencies as well as PyZMQ, ZeroMQ to get installed on your system. You now have a custom Conda environment with PyZMQ and any dependencies of PyZMQ in Python installed alongside it. Please bear in mind that this environment creation is not necessary if you don't plan on adding any functionality to the ZeroMQ connector project that would require additional modules or that would require modules that may be in conflict with other modules that are in your base environment. If you don't need uh, or you don't plan on adding any functionality, then this step is uh, strictly optional. If you wish to have a dedicated Conda environment for any reason, then please go ahead and do this. If you don't, then you can safely use the base environment, which comes with PyZMQ pre-installed. That completes the installation in terms of environments and dependencies for our Python environment. In future tutorials, we'll now go through configuration, running the scripts, changing any root paths, and making sure that there is connectivity between Python as installed in our environment and MetaTrader as set up with the DWX server EA. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers, and friends. And do subscribe to the Darwin X YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on Darwin X. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.